Welcome back to our libertarian presidential debate. Most libertarians say the drug war does much more harm than good, and that adults ought to be allowed to do to our own bodies whatever we want. And that leads many other Americans to say things like this. So here's my question for the libertarian geniuses. You see the damage that heroin is doing all over the United States. You see it, because it's cheap. And the cartels in Mexico are smuggling it here with very, very little interference. Imagine if heroin and other hard drugs were legalized here and distributed here. How much damage would occur? So how can you support that? Mr. McAfee. Okay. Um, I don't know how many of you were alive in the 50s, but you could buy opium in the form of paragoric off the shelf at any pharmacy in this country. There was no opium epidemic because it was, it was, it was available uh, legally. Absolutely not. Common sense. You know, if you were going and buying paragoric and your parents found out, you'd get a whipping, which is what they used to do in the 50s. Okay, so, so by saying we're going to legalize drugs, we're going to increase the consumption, absolutely not. The reverse usually happens. Why? Because children always want to do something which is a little bit bad, with all, something that's yeah, exciting. If it's legal and, and, and you see people buying it and you have heroin addicts on the street, what is the damage that they're doing to society? That's my question. The damage they're doing is to themselves. And the damage that we do is assuming that we know what's right for you. You're going to be a better person if you stop doing heroin. Sir Peter. Yeah, I have to say that Bill O'Reilly is being a pinhead on this one. Sorry, Bill. <laughs> you know, because drugs are illegal, that they are so dangerous. We saw this with prohibition when they were making bathtub gin. If you knew what, what kind of dosages you were taking when it came to illegal drugs, you might know what the danger is. Drug dealers. Thank you. Drug dealers don't check IDs. We've spent a trillion dollars on a no-win war on drugs. Uh, one of Nixon's aides just came out recently and said that the war on drugs was meant to crack down on hippies and black people. It's ridiculous. We've got to stop this. This is where we get the violence on the border. If you guys want to have a, a more secure border, then you've got to end the war on drugs. We will be a safer, freer nation. We've got an example out there with Zurich, Switzerland, where they made uh, free heroin available. Uh, you, had to, you had to register, but you got as much heroin you, as you wanted. The idea was, was to reduce death, disease, crime, and corruption. Uh, I met with the chief of police from Zurich, Switzerland, when he came to Albuquerque for a wor worldwide drug conference in 2002, and he said, when they came out with this program in Zurich, I and all of law enforcement could not have been more opposed to this. Death, disease, crime, and corruption was going to skyrocket. I'm here to tell you that all of those things improved, and the citizens of Zurich re-upped on this program. When you realize that only 8,000 people a year die from heroin overdose and people say well that's because it's illegal well gee whiz if it were legal if it were controlled meaning quality quantity known you might not have any death and people but people will still commit suicide doing anything all right some people will get addicted so Geraldo Rivera has a related question when covering the New Hampshire political primaries the presidential primaries this year we found an epidemic of heroin abuse and overdose deaths like I had never seen before as a libertarian candidate would you be in favor of government programs to help the addicts to help the addicts and stem this epidemic of overdose deaths Mr. McAfee government programs well here's the problem we're assuming that you can actually help a heroin addict that does not want to be helped I mean, as a, as, as a former addict and alcoholic, I can promise you that until you hit bottom and you're ready to reach up for help, there's nothing anybody can do. Because if I want my heroin fixed, all of the goodwill in the world is nothing more than the interference of you into my life. Because you view me as something alien and improper. I'm the heroin addict, and therefore I need to be fixed. You can't do it. I've got to want to be fixed, and I've got to reach out to you first. You can't reach out to this. It, you cannot. Light, lightning round. Moving on. Should we legalize <coughs> prostitution, sex work? Governor Johnson, yes or no? Well, uh, it's more than a yes and no. Look, if you're going to engage in prostitution, where is the safest place in the world that you can do that? Well, it's Nevada. Uh, and so, yes. 
emp empower women, to protect women from the abuses that occur with prostitution. My, uh, my wife was forced into prostitution at the age of 20 and for 10 years suffered unimaginable hardships uh, and physical abuse, mental abuse for 10 years under a vicious pimp. I personally rescued her three and a half years ago and married her. And so my opinion is it has to be legalized, else it is the most inhuman of all things as being criminalized. Should gambling, quick answer, should gambling be legal? Absolutely. Yes, <laughs> all form. The anyway. best example of crony capitalism, the licenses that get issued yes. have to do with Correct. being inside. Yes. Correct. When we return, a question from Judge Napolitano. Hi, everybody. My name is Mike. This is my YouTube page, Mox News. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, okay, so if you want to see the full uh, libertarian presidential debate starring uh, John McAfee and Austin Peterson and Gary Johnson, it is available at an alternate Mox News YouTube page. I have that YouTube page listed uh, in, the, in the text body of this video, right below the video on the video page, on the YouTube video page. You'll see a little box and it says alternate Mox News YouTube page, click here. It's the same alternate Mox News YouTube page that I have uh, a few other presidential debates posted on, and it will be the spot where I post the upcoming Bernie Sanders Hillary Clinton presidential debate. I believe that's on Thursday. So it's a good page to be subscribed to. Uh, if you want to see the full libertarian um, presidential debate, the 2016 one that I just showed a clip from, it's available over there now. It is live and over there now. So right below this video, in the text body of the video, you'll find a, uh, a clickable link that says alternate Mox News YouTube page. Click here. Uh, it's not the C-SPAN Junkie page, so you should go over there and subscribe now. And you should subscribe to the C-SPAN Junkie page when I talk about that one, too. Um, uh, let's see. Thanks very much for the positive input when it comes to the video from the doggy park from earlier today. Uh, that's very nice of you guys to be so, um, you know, so not like negative that <laughs> I wasn't doing news or whatever, you know. Thanks again. I really appreciate the positive feedback. Uh, so I thought that this clip was kind of important. I didn't ever hear about this free heroin thing that they did in Zurich, but I think it's a brilliant idea. I think, I think the drug war is just such a complete failure that, you know, that there's a heroin epidemic. You do everything you can to say, drugs are bad, just say no, dare to keep kids off drugs, and you have an epidemic of, of heroin addicts across the country, from one end of the country to the other. And why? Because, because people go out and they party. This is what it means to be top of the food chain. You go out and you go, you know what? It feels good when I do this substance. And you do it and you go, ah, oh, that was awesome, man. I really enjoyed that. And you go, I want to do it some more. You do it some more. And then what happens is all of a sudden you feel like you need to do it to feel right. And, and you know what happens is that if anybody finds out, you lose your job, you lose your kids, you lose your home. So you hide it, and because you hide it, you make it so that the heroin addiction becomes worse and worse and worse because you do it for longer and longer instead of like looking to your friend and say, hey, I, I got to stop. I need some help with this because, because it could happen to anybody. That's what they keep saying. I don't know. I've never been attracted to, to heroin. Never. So I don't really know anything about it. But they say it could happen to anyone. I believe it. It seems to be an epidemic. They say there's an epidemic. I believe it. And all it is is just this shining beacon that the drug war is a complete and utter failure and will never, ever work. So stop. Stop. And this whole thing where they want to make it so... I'm talking about legalizing, 
legalizing marijuana, you know, taking it off the off the the top, you know, uh, dangerous drug list. It's called freedom. They they're talking about legalizing freedom. They're talking about not making you a criminal for planting a seed in the ground and then reaping the benefits from doing that. As Mother Nature intended, as a thousand generations of humans did before us, this is what it means to be top of the food chain. It's very simple. Oh, I like what that does to me when I take that. Very, very simple. You're an adult. You can make this decision without having the government involved. You don't need them to tell you whether it's good for you or bad for you. You know. And when they lie to you about it and they say marijuana is just as dangerous as heroin, then you don't know because it's all confused. I mean, you know, but it's a lie. They lied about the marijuana. They're probably well lying about the heroin too, right? I mean, they're liars. My parents, the government, the police, they're all liars. These are the pillars of fucking society. That's what the drug war does. It makes the people that you're supposed to trust and believe in and look to for guidance into big, ugly liars. Marijuana is the safest drug on the planet. Safer than aspirin. And they're like, oh, the dangers of edible marijuana. People die every year from eating aspirin. No one dies from eating fucking marijuana. How many people die from drinking too much? It's called freedom. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Um, one of these days, this drug war is going to end. Stay cool until that day. Compassion stirred the Buddha to send his monks out into the community. Sworn to chastity and poverty, they wandered the roads, bringing the Buddha's teachings into the world. Go forth, monks, for the happiness of the many, out of compassion for the world. There are beings whose eyes have little dust on them, who will perish if they do not hear the teaching. But if they hear the teaching, they will gain liberation. The monks exist by begging. We think of begging as kind of a bad thing. Begging in this tradition is a good thing. It's a sign of spiritual purity. You're not allowed to beg tomorrow's lunch today. Only today's lunch. Then you can't eat from noon until dawn the next day. Then you have to go out and get another lunch. And then in exchange for lunch, you give a lecture. Unless they say, we don't want to hear about it, then you don't. But that's the only thing you, but that forces you to interact with the lay community. And if you're not serving them, if you're not doing something useful for them, they won't put anything in your bowl and that will be the end of your community.